Does your app need real-time user updates, such as chat features like in WhatsApp and Telegram, or perhaps location tracking features like in Google Maps and Grab? Real-time updates are not only important, but are necessary in most modern apps nowadays. This video will teach you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to implement real-time user updates with Superbase real-time databases, so that your app will not fall behind. Cue the demo in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so I already have this chat app set up. If you'd like to learn how to make a chat app from scratch in Flutterflow and Superbase, I have an entire playlist dedicated to this, which I will link in the description as well as the top right corner of this video right now. So for in this chat app, the real-time function that I want to add is the updating of messages. So whenever another user sends a message, I want the current user to be able to see that new message and not have to reload their screen before the message updates. In order to do that, we need some custom functions. You can see that there are two custom actions over here. We need the subscribe custom action as well as the unsubscribe custom action. But don't worry, you can find both of these custom actions in the YouTube description link below. I've linked it to my GitHub over here, where you can just copy and paste both of these files over here. So copy and paste everything. And you should be able to implement these two custom actions as well. All right, so just a brief rundown of the custom code over here. For the subscribe action, what we're doing is that we're subscribing to a specified table in Superbase in order to receive the real-time updates from our Superbase table. So these two lines are just basically accessing the Superbase client. And this line over here tells us that we are listening to specifically changes to our Superbase tables. For our channel filter over here, for the event, we are only listening to insert events as our real-time change is when a user inserts a new message into our messages table. For the schema, it will be a public table. And for the table over here, we are specifying it through an argument in our function. And finally, we have this final line of filter over here to ensure that the user is only updated when the messages are sent to the group chat that the user is currently on. And this line over here just basically calls an action that we are passing through an argument as well. So that's it for the subscribe custom action. Moving on to the unsubscribe custom action is basically the reverse of the subscribe custom action as it just unsubscribes from the channel. And this unsubscribe action is important so that we are saving our space and memory in our app. So once you have both of those custom actions, we can move back to our Flutterflow widget tree. And on the, your main page that you want to change, which is my chat page over here, we want to add an action. So when the page loads, we want to add the action and we want to add the custom action to first unsubscribe from any current subscriptions that we may have so that we start with a clean slate. So for this table, it will just be our messages table, as I mentioned just now. And now we want to wait for a while before subscribing. So let's just put a wait delay of 1000 milliseconds. And finally, we want to add our final custom action, which is to subscribe so that we are able to get real-time database changes. For the table, it will once again be the messages table. And now for the callback action, we would simply want to refresh our database request on our list view so that it's updated on our user's end as well. We also have the chat ID, which we will pass over here. And one last step that we have to do is that we have to configure our Superbase table to accept real-time changes. So in our Superbase table editor, on the table that you want to implement real-time changes on, you select the table and you go to the top right-hand corner over here. And with this real-time button toggle, we'll click on it and we will enable real-time. To check that it has been enabled, you can check that the real-time button is now on. And you can also go to database and under publications, you can see that we have one table activated and that is our messages table over here. So that tells us that it has been successfully activated. So now let's just try testing out our newly implemented real-time chat update. All right, so test has just loaded up. You can see that on the left-hand window, I have a chat group open up. And on the right-hand window, I have my Superbase table editor open up. 
So if we try to add and insert a new row into our messages table over here to simulate someone just messaging a new text, you can see that when we add the new row and we insert the new row over here on the left hand side, it has updated in real time on our Platterflow app itself without us having to refresh anything. Congrats on implementing real-time chat capabilities into your app and learning more about Superbase real-time database changes. If you'd like to learn how to create a chat app from scratch, click on this video and you'll become a Flutterflow master in no time.